Good day, and welcome to your favorite program, The Conversation, coming to you live from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Nelson Ekujumi. I'm a public affairs analyst, and I have with me here in the studio uh, Comrade Razak Kolade Olokoba, also a public affairs analyst. Comrade Razak, you are uh, welcome th to thank the Thank you, Nelson. Good day, everyone at home. Yes. Uh, today we want to look at uh, some topics, you know, some topical issues. Um, just yesterday night, the NLC and TUC, after a meeting with the federal government representatives uh, comprising the Minister for Labor and, Producti and uh, Employment and Productivity, uh, Mr. Honorable so, uh, Simon Lai Long, as well as the National Security Advisor, uh, Alaji Nuru Badu, held a meeting and um, the outcome of that meeting was that the neck of both labor centers, you know, met and called off the two-day industrial uh, action. Uh, for me, as, a, as an individual, as a Nigerian, I felt that strike was not necessary. I saw that strike as a blackmail because uh, the essence of that strike was to protest the uh, assault on the NLC president in uh, Uwere, prior to the gubernatorial elections in Imo State on November. The attack on him took place on November 1, 2023. And uh, one felt that uh, irresponsible labor should have recognized that that assault was a criminal act that, you know, the right thing for Ajero as a person to have done, or labor, is to have petitioned the Inspector General of Police, you know, seeking, you know, a, a redress or go to court. But in this case, we saw labor, even though there was a subsisting court order that labor should not go on strike, we saw labor take the law into its own hands. You know, uh, labor became the accuser, they became the judge, and they became the jury. So labor decided that case. And, you know, they decided that this is the line of action to take. And for me, I think that was not, you know, uh, civilized enough. That was not responsible enough. The action was, to me, it was sheep blackmail, if you ask me. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, like I've said, a lot of things are mixed together uh, in the matter. The personality of uh, uh, Ajiro uh, in the country is one. The state itself uh, uh, is one. And um, the institution, which is the labor organization itself, uh, is one. All these were abuse. Labor abused the institution, the NLC, as a, a structure. And the state apparatus also abused their own apparatus, which is the police and uh, were badly handled by the state government. To start with uh, Ajero himself, uh, he, he took a risk by going to state to stage a protest where the local uh, said they don't agree to that. Uh, that's a uh, situation calls for a, po a caution on the side of Ajiro that uh, it shouldn't go ahead. Before a, a protest we hold, called by NLC, the local chapter uh, must have been carried along. I, 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 I must, in fact, endorse it. Yes, they must endorse if, it. If, it yes. didn't, if they didn't endorse it, then you're looking like, for trouble. Yes. No, that's why I should not even hold at all. So in any case... No, if you come there, mm, if they do it, that means you, are, you want to interfere yes, in their in the local, local matter. matter. Yes. So, so they will so take it as, that as is, interference. That is sufficient for the local chapter to take on Ajiro. Uh, if their objective, if it is the labor movement that all of us took part in before, it's not become something there. So we encourage the local chapter to also... Uh, take their president up on that uh, for coming to uh, 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 instigate. instigate and incite uh, the state. But that's one. Two is that uh, uh, we must uh, do whatever we want to do to score a point. If it's about the welfare of the workers, the workers, it's not a good coincidence for you to come up when there's a rally or there's a, a political exercise that is going on in the state. Labor is fond of doing that. And mm. it is time... Under Ajero. Under, no, under Ajero. Many, many, many labor leaders used such moments to blackmail the government. And the labor, the workers should be able to distinguish between the fight... Political yeah, issues. Yeah, the issue 
personal interest, personal interest and labor, and, and labor, labor, and labor welfare. Yes. yes. So, so all of this came to play. The officer that uh, became excited and saw the picture and took advantage of that, and whoever that is also involved should be, should be condemned. So we should not only punish people who did that, we should also uh, find a, a platform to also penalize Ajero for what he has done. No matter his condition, he needs to face some misuse. And one of which is incitement, and that is misusing the labor his institution. Office. Yes, misuse, mis misuse of office. He needs to be taken up on that. Government requires that courage. And that is what we've been telling the government that, uh, you see, if you engage labor, continue to engage in this beggarly manner, labor will continue to acquire a, 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 that power they don't deserve. You even know the painful thing for me is mm. that when they, there was a court order that they should not go on strike. That is why they should be, the government should have the courage. The, before the court order, mm. or even do, uh, after the court order, the Inspector General of Police set up a committee to investigate that assault. Mm. One expect labor to submit yes. to the due process of the law. Because yes. under the laws of Nigeria, for which, under which labor is registered, yes. labor, if labor recognizes the supremacy of the rule of law. We expect labor to have submitted, but what labor did was, you know, to slap the law on its face. And for me, I think that is unacceptable. Yes, because the government is going through uh, so much uh, uh, at the moment. Expectations were high, and that's the fear of the government that uh, people uh, will use labor platform to vent their anger. <coughs> uh, that's wrong for. Mm government to see issues like that. Yeah, from that angle. The more you concede certain undeserved uh, uh, grants. grants to labor, the more they go, they begin to push. We know the psychology of the Nigerian uh, NDLC from 1990 date, and it is time for government to also begin to educate Nigerians. The responsibility of the labor itself, the whole question of welfare of labor, does not lie solely on the federal government. Labor has a role to play. Federal government should decide that role and make it public. That what is labor doing in engaging manufacturers to ascertain the actual price of production price of all commodities mm. that is important to life. Labor has a role to play. Design the role, bring civil society in, who will have the courage to also tell labor that uh, government has assigned you a role. What have you done about it? So that if it's going to take the civil society to also lead a protest against them, so let us do that because they have been found one thing and they have turned the table around to look as if it's just the responsibility of the government to talk about welfare. Especially it, the federal government. Especially the federal government. The federal and government has become a, a, a whipping tool yes, in the hands of labor. If you tabulate it, all the salary increases since 1990 did as always bring trauma to the workers. Once they increase salary from 10 era to 15 era, Prices, prices of, of commodity was carried. That's not wisdom. The roof. That's not wisdom in, 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 in the struggle. That's not wisdom in, in, in agitation. And you remember, you are part of it too. You remember each time we no, engage we're all in it together now. That's what I say. I say you are part of it too. Yes. You are part of it too. Each time we, the civil society, engage them. What's the excuse for not engaging manufacturers? So they say no. The easy way out is for government to keep in six salary. And when we brought bring this wisdom to them, that why can't we establish a model? that prices of commodity, let's look at it first. After ascertaining what a one level one officer required to survive in Nigeria, they cannot begin to talk, talk about the price increase. But they will not do that. And government is complicit in this direction that it's time for government to also tell everybody its responsibility. So we encourage uh, the police not to be harassed into admitting that they are wrong. There's a court case existing that uh, you should not come. The NLC, the local NLC, the workers in that state must also establish. In, in fact, yesterday I saw video of the workers in that state. They trooped out to the government house to celebrate with the governor. As we, uh, until the strike was called up yesterday, there was no sign of strike in any part of Imo State. Just like in, just like we had in some parts of the country where there was partial compliance. And labor that is talking about 
the welfare of the people that they are agitating for it. They also took the laws into their hands in going into some extent. We saw pictures of them going into schools in uh, Abuja and flogging uh, puppies, driving them out of school. So if you have called a, a, a course mm. and people are not following you on that line, it shows that that course that is, is not it. popular. Yes. And so why, why resort to the use of force to enforce compliance? That's right. This is the sacred institution, the NLC. Our sweat goes into it. Of uh, course, we should not allow the yes, some leadership, partisan interest the leadership to bury all the to years bury of, struggle. All, all of our struggle. So we should stand up and rise up against Ajiro, the ESCO, and all members of his executive that consistently told his line. Tuesday is in between. Is that here not there? And I want to advise the president of uh, TUC to maintain his objective uh, view and his balance at the moment. Nigeria seems to have confidence. In, him, in, in, in his own approach, he should not allow NLC to harass him into submission each time they want to go, go out for I, 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 so, I, I think the NLC, as presently constituted, should go and look at their rating in the eyes of the public. Because the partisanship that has been displayed under the leadership of Ajero will end up destroying the NLC if we are not careful. The credibility and the popularity. Yes, the credibility. The and that, credibility. The, the last strike has shown that. Yes. That look, the Nigerian people are fed up, they are getting tired. At the press of a button, you are threatening us with strike. Abba. And you know, we have uh, had extensive discussion with the labor at that time. Does it merit it? The, 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 the effect it has on production. Already, if you look at the decline of production in Nigeria, it's getting alarming. The decline of production Honestly. is decreasing every day. Now, labor, needless strike. You attack the production line again. So, that's why so, the so, that's why the manufacturers are angry now. They are kicking against labor. We'll, we'll take up that topic mm -hmm. uh, in in one of the editions of this program. Uh, I want to thank you very much, uh, Comrade Razak Oluko. But we'll go on a short break. Uh, we'll be right back. You know, please stay tuned. Continue to watch the conversation on TV three hundred and sixty coming to you here in Lagos, Nigeria. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 